Hey guys, Julie here. Um, I have some fun stuff. Um, first off, I have some Happy Mail to give away. Um, if you want Happy Mail, text me at 406-283-4657. Um, I have 20 things to send out. So if you're one of my first 20 and you want some Happy Mail, um, shoot me a text and um, I'll get that in the mail to you. But what I wanted to jump on here and do um, a quick Facebook Live on a fun thing that maybe you want to do for a Mother's Day gift, maybe just for somebody that you love. Um, so I do have this template. Um, I've already traced over it, so it looks a little beat up. <laughs> but I love this quote. It says, if I knew what love is, it is because of you. Um, I was looking at some quotes, and I know Mother's Day for most people is a wonderful um, holiday, but for some, you know... <sighs> It, it's, a, it's one of those kind of sensitive um, holidays. So I wanted to pick a quote that could just be about love, about happiness, about all the good things in life. But wouldn't this make an absolutely beautiful Mother's Day gift? Or just a gift for to yourself or somebody that you love. So once again, if you want this template, just let me know. You can shoot me a text and I will send this over. You just print it out. Um, this is an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So I am doing my project on an 11 by 14 canvas. So this canvas size right here is an 11 by 14. It fits a nice standard um, sheet of printer paper, an eight and a half by 11, and leaves you a little bit of a margin around the edges if you want to do something kind of fun. What I like to do is print this out and then I use graphite paper. It comes in different colors, but I use black graphite paper on a white canvas. You just put the piece of graphite paper down, you put your template down, you trace over the words, and then it leaves um, the mark. Think of like an old school like checkbook. I don't even know if the younger generations know how to write a check, but um, if you've ever dealt with graphite paper or carbon paper in a checkbook, it's the same idea. You just have a piece of graphite paper, and I use these over and over and over and over. So if you're an artist or an aspiring artist, just pick up some. You'll use it a thousand times. But once again, you just have your canvas. You can also do this like on a piece of wood, a board, but you just put your graphite paper down, you put your tracer down, and then you go over the letters just like with a pen or a pencil. You know, you just go over those letters. And then when you pick it up, ta-da, you have the outline. Um, so like I said, if you want this template, just shoot me a text and let me know. Um, also, if you're interested in getting some happy mail, oops, dang it, I just bumped my whole table. Whew, at least nothing else spilt. Um, if you're also interested in getting some happy mail, shoot me a text. Like I said, I, I'm excited because I got some stuff. Um, I love just putting a smile on people's faces. Um, so if you want something fun, a surprise in the uh, in your mailbox, shoot me a text and I'll send you something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over my wording with a permanent marker. In this case, I'm using a Sharpie. Um, the reason why I do this is because you can paint over the lines and still see them. That's why I love using a permanent marker. But the other nice thing is, is let's say you just want to do these um, letters in permanent marker and then paint, um, you know, a pretty background or a pretty border. Same thing. So you can either do this um, and paint on top of it, or you can do this and just leave it as is. So I'm actually doing this upside down, so I should get extra credit. <laughs> when I went to set up my camera, I'm like, sometimes because my window is on that side, and so sometimes with uh, setting up my camera and going live, I have to draw and paint upside down, but that's okay. I guess uh, it's a skill I can put on my resume. But isn't that just a beautiful quote? If I knew, if I know what love is, it is because of you. I just think that that's sweet. So once again, I'm just going to go over these words with my permanent marker. Once again, if you want this template, um, I have it in a PDF form so I can send it over to you. You just print print it out on your printer. And then, um, like I said, you can use graphite paper and then just transfer the wording over. And honestly, if like let's say you love this idea, but you want to use a different quote. Let's say you, 
you and your mom have a fun, you know, saying or, you know, something that you want to put on here, just print it out. You know, there's even just in Word, you can find some really cool fonts and, um, you know, print off any quote, any song lyric, any, um, you know, special saying and make something fun. So once again, I'm just going over this in permanent marker. I'm doing this upside down, so I'm hoping it doesn't look too wonky. <laughs> but I'm just going to go over this with a Sharpie. Once again, you don't have to use a Sharpie. You can use a different, um, any permanent marker. I actually really like the ones from Walmart. Um, but then you can also do this in a different color. So a lot of times people that aren't, you know, super handy with a paintbrush. Like I hold a, a paintbrush, gosh, probably, you know, eight to 10 hours a week. So I'm very, very comfortable with a paintbrush. But if you're not, use a marker. Just find a permanent marker. And once again, um, once it dries, you can paint right on top of it. So that way, if you are worried about either losing the line or if you just like the way that the permanent marker looks, you don't have to go over it with paint. I, I always, always, always take permanent markers to my paint parties and, you know, people will go, oh, that's cheating. And I'm like, says who? <laughs> you know, I make the rules. I'm the teacher and I say it's not cheating. So if you are way more comfortable with a pen, which most of us are, just holding, you know, a, a marker versus a paintbrush is a lot more comfortable. Use a, use a you know, a Sharpie, a any permanent marker. And if you're like me, you probably have like at least three or four floating around somewhere in your house between your junk drawer or your, you know, <laughs> maybe purse. I have a whole stash of them, but it's for my job. Um, but once again, it's just a, an easy little trick and you can either use the quote that I have. Um, if I know what love is, it's because of you. Or if you have a special, you know, like I said, a, a scripture, a quote, a song lyric, maybe a special little, you know, silly saying that you and your mom have always said, um, you know, like, I love you, I love you more, or something like that. You can print up any quote or saying and then use my little trick using the graphite paper and a permanent marker to put it on the canvas. But public service announcement. Mother's Day is, I think, in two weeks. <laughs> so if you haven't started shopping or if, you know, maybe you, you need something budget friendly, what a fun, fun, fun gift. Um, and like I said, I know Mother's Day for most people, it's a wonderful day. But there's, you know, um, you live life long enough and, you know, you have some people that, you know, I have one friend that, you know, her, unfortunately, her mom was killed in, in a murder. And it's, um, you know, it's a hard day you know, women that have miscarried and um, lost, you know, babies. It's, it's a tough day for some people. Um, so I wanted to pick something that was just about love. And um, like I said, this would make a great Mother's Day gift. But if you are giving a gift to somebody, just to let them know that you're thinking about them. You know, like I said, if, if you know somebody that maybe Mother's Day is a tough day, make them something sweet like this and just let them know, you know, hey, I love you. It doesn't have to be about sappy, you know, Hallmark cards and, <laughs> you know, pedicures. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but um, I think a heartfelt gift goes a long way. I know for sure it does for me. I, um, I love to create things. I think that anybody that's listened to me talk for <laughs> more than 10 seconds knows that. Um, I love making things for people, but I also love receiving gifts. Um, handmade gifts, I should say. I mean, I love gifts. Who, what, what, who doesn't, <laughs> you know, if you want to send me a thousand dollar check as a gift, I'm not going to say no, feel free to do that. But, um, I kid, um, but you know, everybody loves, I'm trying to find a good marker. I have a whole stash of my permanent pens, so I can kind of cherry pick which one is good or not. Let's see how this one is. Um, but I just think, you know, like I said, a, a handmade gift speaks volumes. You know, just something sweet that you made and you were thinking of somebody. It doesn't even have to be a maternal figure. You know, it could be a friend. It could be, you know, a mentor. It could be a coworker. Just somebody that you want to give them, just put a smile on their face. And 
I mean, you can do this on a piece of wood. You could do this on canvas like I'm doing. You could even do, honestly, you could even um, print it out on cardstock and then use watercolor and make a really pretty um, piece of art on cardstock. Card, if you print just like regular cardstock on a regular printer, um, that will hold up to watercolor a little bit better than like regular printer paper. So you can even, um, did I do that right? I think I need one extra little bar. Oh no, I did a little extra one. Yeah, that's okay. Um, I'm doing this upside down, so I'm like, I think my W has an extra little <laughs> tail. Um, but if you use watercolor paper or mixed media paper, um, those also will hold up to, um, you know, watercolor. If you actually use mixed media, um, that will hold up to acrylic as well. So, like I said, all kinds of fun ideas for just a special little gift. Or, like I said, do, do this for yourself. I did a live, I think, about a month ago with words of um, inspiration, inspiring words. Um, so same idea, same concept. Just have positive things around you. We are bombarded with negativity constantly. So I'm always one, I'm like, put on, you know, some positive music. I like um, Christian music, but if that's not your jam, put on something you like. Um, but I always try and find the good in life. There's always junk <laughs> to be found, but sometimes it takes a little extra looking to uh, find the good in life. Speaking of goodness, good things, I want to share some happy mail. I got um, some fun things in that I want to mail out just to brighten some people's days. So if you want some happy mail, shoot me a text, 406-283-4657. Um, just either write happy mail or say, hey, Julie, I saw you on Facebook. I want some happy mail. Um, I check all those messages. So if you text me, I'll get it. Um, and also, if you want the template to make one of these, I have this quote in a PDF. You could print it out, put the wording on a canvas, and then make something pretty. Let me make sure that makes sense. If I know what love is, it is because of you. That's not too bad. Like I said, I'm doing this upside down, so <laughs> just be have a little grace with me. Um, I think that I want to do some flowers. So I'm going to freehand this. Hopefully I don't totally mess this up but what I'm thinking is doing like a little cluster of flowers down here and maybe like some flowers on this side um we'll see what we got maybe we'll do what do you think um like a daisy I was doodling some flowers um if you like this idea and you want to do some pretty flowers go on Pinterest and look up doodle flowers and you'll find all kinds of cute little like drawings of um cute little flowers but I should do roses or daisies decisions decisions um, I'm gonna do a daisy and so once again I'm doing this in a permanent marker I kind of have an idea of what I want to do um, so let's see if it turns out cool <laughs> or not. Um, but I mean, you could do this, let's say if you were doing this for your mom and your mom loves, you know, butterflies or hummingbirds, you could totally customize this or just use the, have the quote on there and you know, just paint like a pretty background. Let me do like a leaf. I guess at this part, I'm just freehanding. So hopefully it, sometimes when I freehand stuff, it turns out awesome. Sometimes womp womp, not so much. Maybe like that, maybe like a smaller little leaf. Like that, and maybe we'll do, you know what else is kind of fun is sometimes just to do like little curly cues. I don't know if that's the real word, but and some little swirls, with maybe little vines. And put little leaves on here too. Like I said, you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. Um, I just thought it'd be cute to have some little flowers. Maybe I'll do like that. I 
And you can always go back and add more. I'm gonna do, I think I'll do a little, um, like half daisy coming off of the corner. Little fat, fat little daisy. Oh, you know what would be actually kind of cute on this too is to add like a little bumblebee flying around. That might be adorable. Adorable. So once again, guys, if you are interested in getting some happy mail, I have about 20 things that I want to send out and just brighten some people's days. So if you want to be the recipient of some happy mail, just shoot me a text and I will get that in the mail to you. If you also want the template to do this really pretty quote, um, just let me know and I will send you, I have the quote in a PDF format and then um, you can make a very pretty um, piece of art for a mother, for somebody that you love, for yourself, any of those. I'm gonna move some of my stuff around. But once again, public service announcement, Mother's Day is in a few weeks. <laughs> so if you haven't thought about it yet, art makes a wonderful gift. You could use this quote or you could do something similar. So I'm gonna come in here with some bright yellow. And like I said, with the cool thing with a permanent marker is you can paint right on top of it and it's just like a coloring book. And then what I choose to do sometimes is go back and go over those outlines again with the permanent marker. So like this, I, I did the outline real quick. I'm gonna come in here and paint. And then once my acrylic paint is dry, I can come back in with the marker and go over those lines again. I wanted this to look almost kind of like a book, like an illustrated kind of piece of art. Something like maybe from a card or like a book. But once again, you can do this however you want. You can, even if it's just painting a pretty, you know, painting the whole background you know, either a solid color or you could do um, like a rainbow or, you know, if you are doing this for your mom or for somebody you love, you can, you know, find out what their favorite colors are and paint it their favorite colors. So all kinds of fun stuff. Um, what color do I want with the center? I think I'm going to do the center of the flowers actually black. Is that a thing? Do daisies have black the <laughs> centers of them black? I'm going to let that dry a little bit first though. Come in here, add a little bit to the leaves. I have kind of like this really pretty, happy, almost like a, almost like a mint green. Very happy in spring. But like I said, you can come in here and just paint right over that outline. And then once it dries, if you want, if you feel like it needs it, you could just go right back over the outline. So depending on how fast this dries and how fast I paint, I may do that or I may just have to wait a little bit and then go back over. But it, this is a really easy, fun, and like I said, you can make something really cool looking and give it as a gift. Um, what mom <laughs> wouldn't love some you know, art made by her son or daughter Alrighty. I might go back and add some more leaves later. I think, I feel like it needs some up here, but once again, I'm painting upside down. <laughs> so <laughs> bear with me on if my proportions are accurate and everything. Um, I think I'm going to do the background. What do you think? Pink or like a teal, a light teal? Hmm. I'm a sucker for teal, so I'm gonna do teal. <laughs> I know it's a gift, it's not about me, but I have to do what inspires me. So I have this really pretty light blue. I think I'm gonna add some white to it, just so it's like a really soft, almost like a baby blue or like a sky blue. And once again, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna paint right over the um, wording and then I'll go back over it with a Sharpie. So once again, I'm just mixing some white and blue. Just kind of going around. Just think of this as like a big coloring book. Like I said, you'll still be able to see 
the Sharpie outline. I keep saying Sharpie, but you can use any permanent marker. It doesn't have to be that brand. Like I said, I actually like Walmart and Michaels both have really good um, permanent marker, permanent markers too. So, but most of us have like a half dozen, <laughs> you know, Sharpies floating somewhere around the house. So use what you got. And this would be pretty if you even left the canvas white or like what I'm doing and painting right on top of those words and letters. I didn't mix up enough blue, dang it. I always either mix up like way too much or not enough, but luckily I'm pretty good at matching colors. So if that's something you're worried about, buy pre-mixed color or just mix up a whole big puddle of it so that way you don't run out. I think that's one of the things a lot of people, they go and they mix like the perfect color and then they go and they run out and they try and remix and you can't quite get it right. And like I said, I've done this a ton. So it's kind of one of my superpowers. So here's a little bit background about me. Um, I was an art major in college and have always been somewhat artistic but honestly for the longest time I only used to do black and white or like monochromatic so like tans and browns um and uh it took me actually starting to do paint parties to get better at um mixing colors and so it took me a long time before I felt I don't want to say proficient but like you know actually was like, oh, don't worry, I can remix that color. And it's just from like time and time, you know, repetition, repetition. So I always laugh when people are like, oh my gosh, you're such a good artist. And it's like, well, one, I've been doing this almost my whole life. I've made a whole bunch of bad art before I made, you know, anything halfway decent. But on the flip side of that, you know, it just, it's like riding a bike. It's like, you know, I, I equate it to like learning how to drive a stick shift. And once again, I think I'm aging myself just like I did with the <laughs> writing a check joke. Um, but you know, the first time you, you um, learn how to drive a stick shift, if you even know how to drive a stick shift, I think I'm a dying breed, but you know, you're going to stall a whole bunch of times. You're going to, you know, um, give yourself whiplash from, you know, <laughs> trying to shift gears. Um, but then after a while you, you know, you practice and practice and practice. And then you get to the point where you're not even like really paying attention to what you're doing and you're shifting gears and you know, you're doing all those things and it's because you've done it so many times and, and true. And it becomes, um, what's the word, uh, muscle memory, same thing with art, same thing with like cooking. You know, if you're, you know, if you like to cook and, um, I'm trying to think of examples like, uh, making like barbecuing meat like you know there's a certain point where it's done you know where you can tell and a lot of that is just repetition repetition experience and a lot of that goes from with art and so whenever I'm teaching you guys stuff I try and always kind of make it you know like what what would I wish somebody would have told me before I started you know what are some of the things that could go wrong and so I really try and like set you guys up for success so that's when I give you like little tricks and tips because I have taught paint parties for so long. One of my kind of bad jokes, because I have a whole bunch of them, is I always tell people, no matter how bad you think you're going to screw up your painting, because let's face it, when people are coming into one of my paint parties, if they've never painted with me before, they're probably nervous, they're probably self-conscious, they're probably like, oh, I don't know what I got myself into, you know, all those self-doubt, you know, voices running around in their heads. Um... And so I try and really let them know, like, hey, guys, if you mess it up, I'll fix it for you. And so same thing um, whenever I go live and kind of share some stuff with you. I'm trying to show you guys things, you know, to set you up for success. So, like, the marker coming through, the um, using the tracer, just some of those little things that go a long way. So I'm, I'm looking out for you guys. I want you guys to, you know, start doing stuff and have immediate success and have a blast and want to create more art. So kind of going on a long tangent. I just try and take the scariness out of it for you. Now what I'm doing is I really like a lot of kind of like marbly textured look. So this is what I like. 
I put down light blue and I'm going in and kind of just blending in little spots here and there with white. You don't have to do this. I just like the way that this looks as a background. If you've seen any of my angel train tutorials, you know that that is one of my favorite kind of looks. Doesn't mean that that's what you have to do. Let me grab my black to do the insides of the flowers. And then I'm gonna zap this with a blow dryer real quick. Um, and then I can go back over the wording just so that way you guys can see what it looks like start to finish. Um, I don't know how long I've been painting, but I can't imagine too long because my yellow paint is still wet. Um, but you guys can see that this can be done pretty quickly and it's really, really cute. If you want the tracer for the quote, shoot me a text. And then if you also are interested in receiving some happy mail, send me a text. Like I said, I'm so excited. I'm not going to tell you what I'm sending you guys, but I'm super excited to share. I have 20 things to send, but I'm not telling you what it is. But if you are interested, shoot me a text at 406-283-4657. And I will be mailing off some happy mail either later this week or first part of next week. All right, I was trying to remember to close up my little cups of paint because if I forget, they dry out. All right, so I'm gonna blow dry this real quick. I'd recommend turning down your volume or if you're watching the replay, um, <laughs> fast forward about 30 seconds. Let me see. I'm trying to rush this, but I don't want to make a mess because I want you guys to see how cute it is. Let me see if this is dry enough for me to start going over some of the lettering again. And once again, you could totally leave this with the white background. Uh, yeah, guys, this is still a little bit wet. Let me blow dry it some more. Sharpie and work on this. So like I said, the thing I like about the permanent marker is that you can still see the outline through the paint as this dries that will come through a little bit more but you can always go back and reuse the template so you can let this dry once again use your graphite paper and just go over it again or you could go old school and actually use a paintbrush and paint i just like i said i want to set you guys up for success and most people are more comfortable with a pen than with a paintbrush so if you are this is a good little i don't want to say hack because that sounds silly and it's really not it's i mean you're just using a marker instead of um 
a paintbrush. But see how I can even come back and do the outline of this flower. And she's still a little bit wet. Oh, I was going to add a bee. Dang it, I totally forgot about adding the bumblebee. But you could customize this a ton of different ways. Butterflies, bumblebees, hummingbirds. Even if you just wanted to do like a pretty background, you know, like I said, you don't have to add anything. You could just paint this, you know, whatever your mom's favorite colors are, whoever you make it for, paint the background, that color, and then do the wording. And it's still a pretty piece of art. See how nice that looks? Like going, oops, dang it, I keep bump, bumping you guys, sorry. Um, but see how good that looks just going over it with the um, pen again? Just makes those lines crisp. Defined. My paint's still a little bit wet, so some of the wording I can't see all that great on my pen. It's a little mushy, but that's okay. If you do this at home, maybe just let it dry for a few a little bit longer than I am, but that's okay. You guys get the idea. I'm just not a very patient artist. <laughs> now remember, I get extra credit because I'm actually doing this upside down. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but I just used acrylic paint. So if you do this at home, you can use acrylic paint. You can use um, craft paint, which is usually acrylic anyways. Um, but I think this would also be really pretty done on cardstock or watercolor paper and make this um, a piece of um, art in watercolor in that medium. I think that'd be really, really cool too. So you have lots of ideas on um, different ways to do this. Or I mean, shoot, you can even just print it out and use colored pencils. I mean, this would be really pretty even just with colored pencils. So lots of ideas. Once again, public service announcement, Mother's Day is coming up. <laughs> this would make a great gift. What mom wouldn't love to receive a piece of artwork? I know mine. Um, she saved, I think, everything I did all in elementary school and <laughs> all the grades. And then she gave, it was so funny because my mom gave me a big um, folder of my old artwork and I'm like, well, this is nice, but I don't really want a bunch of like pieces of artwork I did in the third grade. <laughs> so <laughs> I do, I don't know what I did. Is, I don't think she gave me all of it, but I was just laughing. I'm like, thanks. I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> it's one thing if it's from your child. It's another thing if it's yours. <laughs> Like I said, I kind of go through my sharp, my permanent markers and I try and cherry pick the best ones. Sorry guys, I'm concentrating. I guess I can't talk and <laughs> to, to an outline at the same time. But once again, if you guys want this um, quote, I do have it on in a PDF that you can just print out on an eight and a half by 11, just like regular printer paper. Um, and then also um, this is an 11 and a half by 14 size canvas. So it just kind of fits in those parameters well. But once again, if you want to do it smaller or larger, you could always just adjust the um, settings on your printer. I also use a really awesome website. It's called um, blockposter.com. And it's a free website, but you can upload an image. So you can upload the tracer that I um, give you and you can tweak the dimensions 
And um, it's not an exact science, but it can get you pretty gosh darn close. So you can, you know, change the settings if you want to do, let's say, um, like a 16 by 20 or, um, you know, a different size. And once again, you don't have to do this on a canvas. You could do this on a piece of wood. You could do this on, you know, a piece of paper and use watercolor. Or if you even did um, like a mixed media pad, that's just paper that's a little... Um, you know, heavy, it's a little more sturdy, I guess. And so um, that does really well for um, doing watercolor or acrylics or any mixed media. But this is, like I said, just a fun project. Um, if you feel like creating something versus going to the store, or I mean, shoot, do both, mom. Moms deserve both. They deserve pretty art, but they also deserve some pampering so <laughs> maybe you'll you know do a little bit of both do make something and then also make sure you get mom you know a massage or a pedicure at the minimum spoil our moms like i said what mom wouldn't love some homemade art or you know like i said i know mother's day isn't easy for everybody i've um you know, had some friends that, you know, Mother's Day is just, it's a tough day for whatever reason. You know, we all have our stories. And so if that's you or somebody you know, let's say you know that Mother's Day is a tough day for somebody, make them just something nice. Let them know you're thinking about them, but it doesn't have to overtly be a Mother's Day saying. That's why, like I said, why I try to pick something more about love in the general sense. But if you... You know, let's say you and your mom have a cute saying you guys share, um, you know, something that would be fun. You could always change it up. Or, you know, if you know your mom's favorite song lyric or, you know, maybe she's got a favorite scripture or favorite quote that inspires her. I did such a good job on this. I even covered up the words. I think it's usually as it um, as it dries, you can see. But I think it was a little heavy handed down here. So once again, I'm going to show you once again, if you do this. And you're like, dang it, I lost my words. I'm once again, I know this is upside down for you guys, and I'm sorry, but I'm going to match this up. Hopefully this isn't too wet. Um, and you can just go over it with your pencil again. So once again, just try and line it up as best as you can. So just kind of hold it with my hand and see if my top words are kind of lined up. Maybe a little bit more and then I just use once again that graphite paper and a pencil and you can just go back over it so once again sometimes if I make an oops I don't mind showing you you guys when I mess up because that way when you're doing this if you kind of go oh dang it I lost the words I can show you how easy it is to put them back in I don't mind messing up and showing you guys it's okay to mess up. How else are you going to learn? And honestly, sometimes when I mess up on something, like I'm like, oh, dang it, I just screwed it up. That ends up sometimes being my favorite part of the painting. So like if I did this and let's say I messed up one of the flowers, but I just went back in and repainted the flower. Maybe I like the, you know, second version better than the first one all right so see how now you can see the wording again so once again if you lose the wording just do what I didn't go back in there's no like it's life happens like some things happen sometimes you paint over your words and you have to go back and redo them let me just come in here with a little bit of pen I don't know how many times like I've been teaching a paint card and for some reason like it breaks my heart but sometimes kids are like the their worst critic you know like they're like oh my gosh I messed it up and like they're just that like defeated and it's like no it's just you know I always kind of joke I'm like okay now you're gonna see my superpower because like I said I've messed up a lot of paintings and fixed a lot of paintings um and so then like I kind of joke with them I'm like stand back and watch what I can do you know be way over the top about it and then you know fix their pain and they're like oh my gosh that's amazing <laughs> so 
I think sometimes kids are, are, I mean, I like painting with adults, but kids just, like, they're so over the top, <laughs> which I kind of am a little bit too, so that's okay. Because of... So once again, I get extra credit because I'm even doing this upside down. And I lost the words, and I refound them. But like I said, I just want you guys to see that, like, it's okay if you mess it up, and I want to show you how to fix it. And honestly, like, let's say if you even goof up and do something, nobody's going to know it's a mistake unless you, like, point it out to them. So one of my, you know, kind of jokes is at paint parties, I'm like, if somebody comes and gives you a compliment on your painting, don't point out everything you hate about it, you know, just be gracious and say thank you. <laughs> you know, because people are like, oh, I like your painting. And they're like, well, I messed up here, and I don't like how that turned out, and I messed up up here. And it's like, if somebody's giving you a compliment, just be gracious. <laughs> just accept it. And I think for a lot of people, um, you know, that's hard to take a compliment, but you have amazing things to contribute to the world. So just take the compliment. So once again, if you guys are watching the live, I can't see my phone, so I keep asking, the, you know, saying the same thing over and over again. Um, if you are just jumping on or if you're watching the replay and you want some happy mail, I have some fun stuff that I want to mail out. So I have 20 things, so depending on when you're watching this, <laughs> hopefully I haven't mailed them off all already, but um, shoot me a text. And I would love to send you something just to brighten your day. So if you want to shoot me a text at 406-283-4657. And like I said, I have some fun things that I just want to share. I love making art. Um, but I also just like brightening people's days. Bring a little smile to their face. I said I'm doing this backwards. I'm trying to, when it comes to lettering, um, they always say that the down line is thick. And so what that means is, um, let me find a good example, um, like this F. So of, so as you, the line up would be thin, but then as I come down, this down line, this down stroke is thicker. So if you're ever doing any kind of um, lettering, and you just want to make your lettering look a little more fancy, you can use that trick. The down line, so whenever your pen or your paintbrush or whatever you're using um, comes down, that's the thicker line. So this letter C, it's like if you can see it right here, that's just a normal C, but because I would use the part that comes down would be thicker. See how I just thicken up that section of the letter that, you know, is when my pen's coming down. So if you are ever doing any kind of lettering and you just want to make it a little fancier, like I said, there's my A. I'm just going to thicken the lines that are coming down. So thick on the way down, thin on the way up. B, C, A, U. Um, I'm not a great speller, so I'm always like, oh, I hope I'm not spelling this wrong. Plus, like I said, I'm doing this upside down and backwards, so I should get extra credits on this but if you want also want the template because I do have this quote um, on a piece of or oh, it's a PDF so it's a eight and a half by eleven and then you can print it out and have something pretty like that to make for mom so what do you guys think uh, let me see I'm looking at this upside down oh that's cute I think I might add a little curly Q in these two corners just needs something extra but like I said that's why it's always good to kind of look at it from a distance that's kind of why it's my set it's kind of weird <laughs> I don't need to show you all my weird um things that I do but um once again you can just do some fun curly cues just like vines kind of going around and then I'll come ahead and do And then a little swirly like that. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this. Once again, simple, fun project, great Mother's Day gift, um, public service announcement, Mother's Day is coming up. So you have no excuse, I'm warning you. <laughs> Send your mama something nice. Um, but this is something easy to make and like I said, what mom wouldn't love something um, handmade. But also if you have a mentor, you have a friend, you have somebody that you love that you wanna make something nice for, this is also beautiful because it can just be a gift. So once again, if I knew what love is, it's because of you. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Two things, if you want happy mail or if you want the template, shoot me a text 406-283-4657 and I will drop something in the mail um, to brighten your day. So I hope you guys are having a great evening and we'll talk to you soon. Where's my finish button? Oh, there it is.